Hello guys and welcome to another Top Table Wargaming YouTube video. This is yet another review video for a release from Unreleased Miniatures. Um, we have had a, uh, a release from these guys and it is a bunch of um, different styles of Orc. The first one that we're going to look at today is going to be the Orc Trapper uh, Taskmaster Stroke Banner. Um, this is a, uh, a kit which you get four parts in, as you can see on camera. You get the Orc, you get a banner, you get like a, it's, um, it's like a, uh, what are they called? It's a cat and nine tails style whip and you get a sword. The reason you get all these different parts of equipment is it's a multi-use model so um, you can equip him with a banner and use him as a bannerman or you can equip him, equip him with the hand weapons, the whip and the sword. So let's take a look at the model. We'll start off with the, uh, the miniature himself. He's uh, a standard orc. Um, he has... It, the armour that he's got, it's like a leather armour, um, he's got like uh, trunks on, leather strapping around the feet and uh, like shoulder pads for fur and some strapping around uh, his back. Um, it's quite Zulu-esque, um, it's a generic orc face. It's a very humanised orc face on this one, um, it's probably the most humanised uh, face that I've seen from these guys on an orc. They normally go for the, the quite gnarly, angry looking um, orc. I'll hold this closer to the camera see. Oh, there we go. Again, trying out different camera and angles, so I hope it's okay. Um, as you can see, the. Yeah. And that is the orc. Quite cool. Um, there's a little bit of cleaning up, there's a little, little, little few mold lines. Uh, there's a bit of flash on the back of the head here, which at, at first I thought was hair. <laughs> but then I looked on the website and the green version of uh, this model has no hair. He's a bald head, so it's flash. So that's easily cleaned off. So there's a few mould lines, um, but nothing uh, that, that any seasoned modeller won't be able to deal with. So let's look at his equipment. And we'll look at the banner first. I'm a big fan of banners. Um, I like to make a lot of my own banners. This... Uh, is a basic or banner, very well made. Um, I like the sort of, you know, you, how can I say? It's not like you're like a human, very straight uh, manufactured uh, banner shaft. It's basically a branch from a tree that's been ripped off and you know rope tied around the top, and their their banner's been painted onto this. There is a, a, like an embossed uh, design on the banner, uh, which is quite nice. Um, it looks kind of like. Uh, it's kind of got like a reverse half moon uh, on it and what looks like sort of, uh, how can I describe it? It's like just sort of emblazoned uh, with different designs around it. So it's quite cool. I'll try and get that, try and show it. Can you see that? So it's quite nice. There's uh, a skull on the top um, with a beard on it which looks cool um, so that's the banner and that would fit on the model I'll do it on the reverse so you can see so you can see there's a hand on the shaft there and there's a hand lower down on the shaft there so you'd have that arm connecting there and the front arm connecting there and yeah he's kind of just sort of steadying himself and holding it up so you can see that I'll try and get my it's hard to do this and get your fingers out of the way <laughs> Uh, but I'll do my best. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, so that's quite cool. Looks quite good. So that's him if you want to use him as a bannerman. And then you have the hand weapons, which are a uh, cat of nine tails whip with a hand attached. And then you have a sword. It's quite an intricate small sword. Uh, a little bit of cleaning up to do on that with a file, but again, nothing. nothing out of the ordinary there um, and I'm assuming looking at the hands on them yep his right hand would be the whip so the whip could be attached like that I mean you could give him a hand weapon and a shield I suppose as well um, or you could give him both which is on the website so you have the 
whip in that hand and then the sword in the hand lower down his, his body like so it's quite hard it's very fiddly it's very hard to hold um, because it's so small yeah so you get the idea and the whip is like that so you could you could give him a shield also um, depending what system you're using him for, what profile you're going to use him for, what you need him for. He could just be in um, a rank of, of orcs with his banner to add bonuses um, in Kings of War or War of the Ring um, or any of them, fantasy I suppose. Um, he could be used singular uh, as a ban banner bearer um, for uh, range bonuses and he could just be used as a generic orc. I suppose you could use him as a captain. You know, because he's 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 singular model in the sense that there's no other pose like that. Um, he's, he's like a one-off. Um, so yeah, quite cool. I, I quite quite like the model. I, I like the idea of models um, that are multi-part and you can change them. Um, big fan of that. I mean, anyone who knows me knows that I love conversions. Um, for that reason, I, I I don't like ranks and ranks of models that look the same. So big big fan of that. I think that's a big thumbs up from me it's a good idea uh, from the lads to um, give the option to do that you kind of get in two models for the price of one um, you could buy two models and have one of each you could magnetize the um, weapons uh, to be interchangeable which I'll do a video on very very soon um, it is on the to-do list well that's the review of the York Trapper uh, Taskmaster Stroke Banner um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the model. Let me know if it's a model that, that you're impressed by and you're going to pick up and what you're going to use him for. And especially, you know, if, which is highly likely you're getting painted before I will. Um, show us your paint jobs. All right then, guys. Keep on gaming. Take care. And I will see you all soon.